going to get that taste of summer movie season. The blockbusters begin this weekend, and we'll take a look at what's ahead when I come back for the show. We'll see you then. Leon's is giving $11,000 to St. Joseph's Healthcare and 5000 bucks to the Kiwanis Club, Boys and Girls Club, that is, of Hamilton. A nice That's gesture great. on their part in yeah. 100 years. Like they said, not a lot of companies in Canada have been around that long, and they continue to succeed. Well, you know, they might want to help out uh, Elton John. They have could you, indeed. Have you heard the news? I haven't. You better fill me in. Well, Elton John, his fortune has gone from uh, $355 million mm -hmm. to $255 million oh, in the past year. Oh, let me get my year, Kleenex out. Uh, as a result of the downturn in the economy. Yeah, geez, what yes. a shame. Cry me a river, eh? Yeah, no yes. kidding. We're very concerned with the economic downturn. I know you're all concerned that your favorite Hollywood stars won't be able to maintain their lavish lifestyles. Well, fear not. For the um, Fast and the Furious. The movie industry's making money at a record rate, up 10% over last year, and they believe the good times will continue to roll. This Let's weekend is the unofficial start to the summer movie season. X-Men, that Wolverine movie, is expected to kick it off big time. Helped out by the romantic comedy Ghosts of Girlfriends Past, starring Matthew McConaughey and Jennifer Garner. And, of course, the season gets its big boost next week when Star Trek explodes onto movie screens. So we can continue to count on our celebrities to act out. And I just want to tell you, uh, Nick and everyone else at home, uh, you know the way that I've butchered a, a certain title to a certain movie all week long. And that inspired our graphics department. Let's take a look. Yes, now it's a reality. <laughs> X-Men Oranges Wolverine will be on screens this weekend. And you know, I think I want to see this movie, Oranges. I think that would be good. It's, it's got a good ring to it. You've it really does. made it stick in my head. Uh, it does. I mean, that, that graphic alone just mm -hmm. tells you that I, th it could be Star I think Trek. the Florida uh, orange juice industry is going to jump all over They're this. Gonna Love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. TV host and ex-supermodel Tyra Banks took the stand today to face the man accused of stalking her. Banks told a New York City judge that she feared for her safety last year after learning Brady Green was inside the building where she tapes her talk show. Police say Green told them he'd hopped a bus from L.A. to see Banks in the Big Apple because the two had a thing together. And Banks says her staffers told her he'd threatened one of her employees. His lawyer says he's just an overzealous fan. All right, uh, we need to feel sad for more celebrities. It's not easy being in the circus. Just ask Britney Spears. So how does she stay toned on tour, the tour that is now in England? Well, the singer has apparently asked for a stripper's pole to be installed in her favorite hotel suite so she can work out between shows. Apparently, Britney loves pole dancing and that it's her favorite workout after London, her circus tours the rest of Europe. Did you get to the show? I know you wanted to see I, the show. I did show. miss the I, show. You're right. But uh, does she ask for a cage as well or, or just the stripper pole? Because that's well, I, an interesting rider. Well, you know, I mean, the, the, I think there's only room for, uh, I guess just for the, the pole. pole. No M&Ms and, and or anything like no that. It's strictly just a pole. stripper pole. I know. What I an know. interesting So maybe she's not such a diva after all. I guess not. Yeah, a simple not request to stripper pole. I know. So, okay, so it's not easy being uh, Britney Spears. It's also not easy being our prime minister. But Stephen Harper seems to find the time to Twitter now and then. Harper sent out a Twitter today and a link to this picture. The Twitter said, celebrating my 50th birthday with Rachel and a crowd of 50 pink flamingos on the lawn of 24 Sussex. Happy birthday, Mr. Prime Minister. I don't, are there 50, in fact? I didn't count them, but I think there are. Okay. Because I'd be concerned you if... You can hear the media singing okay. happy birthday to him just there. Okay, good. I'd be concerned if the government can't come up with uh, 50 uh, yeah. pink flamingos. It was pretty funny, actually. Count. When he got there, he ducked down with his daughter, smiled, and then he kind of went, yeah, okay, and <laughs> yeah. just walked this away. This is too embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Stephen Harper and pink flamingos, they don't go together. Not really the no. right combination. No. Well, you know what? Uh, keeping In keeping with our parliamentary tradition, I believe I've found the perfect location for the next throne speech. Take a look. This is the men's room inside Nashville's historic Hermitage Hotel. It won a recent online poll as America's best restroom. The lime green art deco fixtures and interiors date back to 1939, even though the downtown Hermitage was built in 1910. It's so popular, women have been known to go in just to take a look. So guys, please, don't forget to put the seat down. 
Uh, why the phone? I've, I've never understood the phone in the washroom concept. That's the one shot that struck me there. Well, I don't even carry a phone with me in the car, because <laughs> I, when, I'm, when I'm out, I'm out. But yeah, I certainly don't want to talk to anybody when I'm okay. doing my business. <laughs> yeah, there's a tie in there. We'll let uh, yeah, so I will let it go. Okay, All thanks right. a lot, Matt. If you're, you're just welcome. getting home, we're going to be recapping our top stories right after this break.